Hey guys, what's going on? This is uh, Rob Brown. I'm coming to you from Orlando, Florida. Got my son back there. What's up, man? <laughs> so he's saying cheese. All right, anyways. So um, I'm a local guy here in Orlando, Florida. Uh, I'm a real estate uh, investor, uh, among other things as well. Um, but real estate is my passion. It's what I do. It's what I love. And um, so I really want to do this video while I'm driving, which is really not safe, but I really want to do this video for the individuals out there, you know, that they they have the shiny object uh, problem, you know, I'm looking at the shiny objects, the, the shiny this, the shiny that, especially, especially in the real estate realm. Listen, there is a million ways to do a deal a million different ways. There's a million ways to do a deal you know, with a million different methods is what I'm, what I'm getting at. And, um, and there's a million ways to make a million dollars in real estate. You know, uh, I haven't made my first million yet. Um, but I look to do so, um, sooner rather than later, of course. Right. But anyways, let's put that aside. Um, really what it comes down to is staying focused. You know, um, we talk about it in, in, in real estate. We talk about it in the business, but we don't really, we don't really think about what that means, right? Because being focused, cheese, yeah, buddy. But being focused is, uh, I mean, just having the drive, having the ambition, you know, towards that one goal to get that goal achieved by any means necessary, of course, within legal, you know, legal limits and, and all that good stuff and having ethics and, and things like that. But, um, kind of what I'm getting at is, you know, you get into the business and say, well, man, should I do wholesaling and, you know, and, and all, and make low cash offers or, you know, should I do lease options and, and, and offer, you know, more money if possible. And, should I do, you know, this type of seller financing and subject to and this and this and that and the third and blah, blah, blah. And it just, it really just, you know, convolutes and, and just uh, really makes it difficult for you to think and, and process what you're really trying to get accomplished. Here's what you're trying to get accomplished. You want a paycheck. <laughs> really, that's it. You want money, right? You want a paycheck and you want to do it through the real estate realm. You don't want to do it through you know, network marketing or, you know, real estate coach that doesn't do deals or, you know, don't get me started on that. That's crazy. But, um, you know, real estate coaches, you know, that's fine. Of course, if you guys are actually doing business and if you're not, you know, Hey, uh, I guess those that can't do, they teach, right? I don't know. Um, but when it's all said and done, you're looking to make money in real estate and, by doing so in real estate, real real estate, not coaching program, not selling a coaching program or, you know, um, or, or anything of the nature, but real real estate, finding deals, making money off of it, one thing has to happen. The individual that you find that you're getting the property from or getting a contract from, I don't care if you're rehabbing, you're lease optioning, you're wholesaling, you're, you know, you're an agent that's retailing the property. There has to be motivation there on some type of level. So this is what I do and this is what works for me, right? I look for motivated sellers. That's it, man. Motivation is where it really comes from. I look for motivated sellers, motivating opportunities. And then if that deal happens to be a lease option deal or a subject to deal or a wholesale deal or whatever the case is, that's fine. Now, I look for properties with equity, don't get me wrong. I'm not out there looking for short sale opportunities and things of that nature. You know, uh, when you put out, you know, stuff like bandit size and stuff like that, you don't know what you're going to get. But when you're doing, you know, targeted direct mail, of course, you do have an idea of what's coming through the pipeline because that's what, you know, that, that's what your list is consisting of. Uh, but I look for motivation. So, um, 
I'm just gonna keep this video real simple, real short. Basically what I wanna get to is I just want you to know, just look for motivation. Then when that seller calls you up and, and you say, hey, you know what, this might be a lease option deal, or this might be a wholesale deal, or this might be a, a whatever type of deal, right? I might, you know, um, list this as a realtor, you know, I might, you know, this might make me want to get my license as a real estate agent and, and, and go that route or whatever the case is. Um, just look for the motivation, right? You look for the motivation, you got the guy on the phone or the lady on the phone and you can hear you know, that they need help, that they, that they need, that they need uh, your assistance, that's where the money's going to come from. It's going to come from helping people, not hurting them, uh, not hurting them with your offers, not hurting them with, you know, whatever the case is, but uh, it comes from helping them. People say, oh, well, you're not helping nobody. You're getting a property for 40 cent and, you know, on the dollar or 50 cent on the dollar or 60 cent on the dollar. You know, you're, that, that's horrible. Why would you do that to somebody? Well, number one, I don't put a gun to their head and, and make them sign a piece of paper. I would not, never have done that. And I never will do that, right? And number two, um, they have their own reasons for wanting to sell, guys. You know, not everybody wants the same thing. You know, not everybody wants money. Not everybody wants the properties. You know, I mean, some people just want relief for whatever reason. So just focus on helping people is kind of what I'm getting at. Focus on helping people, you know, make that your ultimate goal. And um, guys, I wish you the absolute best. Um, if, uh, if you are in the Orlando area, if you're coming across Orlando opportunities um, that you need help with, or if you're someone that, you know, is, you know, um, virtual, um, virtual, do, virtually doing deals in Orlando and you're somewhere else or whatever the case is. Hey, look me up, you know, add me, uh, add me on Facebook, uh, message me and, uh, and, you know, we'll go from there. I'd love to, uh, I'd love to do business with you, uh, in any, any capacity that, that, you know, that's a win-win. It makes sense for everyone. Um, a lot of my opportunities do come from JV and with other individuals, um, but you know, you just, you want to hang around like-minded individuals and not everybody in real estate is going to be like-minded with you. I mean, let's, let's, let's get it real. You know, some of these guys are, you know, they're making loads and loads and loads of cash and they might not be on the same playing field as a guy who's just trying to break a hundred thousand in his first year or 50,000 for that matter. Right. And this is not an easy business. I mean, if you're, if you're hustling a job and you're still doing this, man, you've got all the drive in the world. If you've been doing this for three years and you've only done a few deals, you've got all the hustle in the world. If you've been doing this for five or six years and never done a deal, I mean, you've got more drive in your pinky than most people have <laughs> in their whole body, right? So guys, I wish you the best. Um, I hope this can be a blessing to someone out